everyone welcome back i hope you all are well so today's video is going to be all about the things that i have recently found and things that i have not so recently found while thrift shopping really excited to show you the things that i purchased so i'm just going to shut the hell up now and kind of get into showing you the things that i got so the first item that i wanted to share with you guys is actually this bustier um type of thing right here this is 100 percent leather i purchased this from one of the thrift stores out here called uniques i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it if you live in the long island area you should definitely go check it out because i really like that store they have a lot of vintage um jeans like that's one thing that i definitely always find in there is like vintage jeans and vintage shorts and like uh their shoes so so because i feel like a lot of the shoes are in small feet sizes and i feel like not a lot of people have the, that size of foot not to be like a discriminating or nothing against y'all but most of the majority of people actually have a size like seven and a half to maybe like what nine that's usually the average foot size and they usually have like five to six never really seven i don't see them too much uh, i used to see a lot of eights but i feel like people are starting to get more into thrifting now so it's very hard to find but definitely that store always has jeans so like i said you should definitely go check it out this video is not sponsored by them or anything obviously but um yeah so yeah this bralette thing is like this i really really love it because i don't have to wear a bra with it it gives me enough support the straps are adjustable and i'm just really 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 in love with this thing right here the thing that i want to show you is this here this jacket is absolutely adorable i got this i want to say at the beginning of the year and i had a lot of high hopes for this to wear this around the springtime but i never actually got around to patching this jacket up i do plan to take this to one of those sports places I guess the ones that have like that can stitch the um, sports patches on your hat or whatever I want to take this there and kind of patch this see if it's possible to patch this up I know I definitely want to patch over this because I don't even know what the hell this is it says interderm interderm I don't know what that is I really let me see no, that's not the brand name. I feel like this was like a company jacket or something. And I feel like it's really cute. Um, I like the oversized fit that it gives me and the color is beautiful. That I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get this patched up. And once I do that, I will wear this with a pair of mom jeans and some sneakers. What I have to show you are these right here. I am not sure how these fit me because I've gained a little bit of weight since I purchased these. But I originally planned to have these fit very loose and relaxed because I wanted to wear these with Stan Smith's or um, the Adidas Superstars. If I was going to decide to pick up a pair, I would wear it with those or like I said, the Stan Smith's. I really want to pick up some new sneakers. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. I always talk about it, but I never really do it. Anyways, my plan for this is to kind of have a more casual, relaxed vibe and wear this with like a band tee, trainers, and... A leather jacket or a bomber jacket or a denim jacket I really am going for that look with these I love these and I love the relaxed fit that they do have I was looking for these for a while and yeah I really really love them I actually stole the inspiration from my boyfriend's friend I'm not gonna say his name because that's really 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 weird but yeah I just thought I'd add that in there because I wanted to let you guys know that my inspiration is from guys to not only from girls and I feel like that's really important because I feel like gender equality is important and I feel like a lot of times girls get things from girls but they don't realize that they can get ideas and inspiration from clothing from guys too if that makes sense so yeah I really love these can't wait to wear them and they have the perfect size of okay so the next thing that I wanted to show you I was actually really 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 excited about because I think that this dress is so glam it's so modern I'm not even sure it's by the brand Carbon and I assume that it's a high-end brand because it, their dress sizes are actually like European sizes. This dress is so gorgeous. It has the ruching and it like fits me in all the right places because it is bodycon and it's made with such good material. It is double um, fabric so it has, um, like I said, the double stitching and it really just helps to add that extra high quality bodycon like fit it does have a zipper on the side that is hidden like this which adds to its quality even more because it's easier to put on and you just zip it right up and the ruching really does help to 
put in some curves and like hide the things that you don't want to see like muffin top or something like that it actually helps to give a little bit of curves in the right areas this pair that i want to show you judging by the waist area i do feel like these will be the relaxed ones on me but i did absolutely love the wash of these they're super vintage looking they looked really worn in which i do not mind at all I feel like that helps to add and give it character. Even the tag is worn. That's how I know these suckers will look popping on. And they're not stretched denim either. So that means all the relaxed fitness that you got. And it's kind of like when you buy a fresh new pair of jeans that don't stretch. And you're like waiting. You know, you, you got to go through those stages where you unbutton your pants after you're done eating. Because it's still very tight because they don't stretch. These are the ones that like... It's true to size, you either pick your size or you're struggling in terms of how, how comfortable you're gonna be. But yeah, I really like these, absolutely amazing. I love the way that they fit me. As you can tell, the waist is really snatched, but yet, give me some room for them hips, cause I got them, yes I do. I do happen to have that usual like gap problem where it'll be too big in the waist and too tight on the thigh, like that type of thing, and these, help with that that's another reason why i like mom jeans and why i was looking for so many of them because i feel like i can cut them diy them so that they look modern but then or even taper them if i need to but i just know that the waist is going to fit me and the hip part is going to fit me because that's how a lot of the jeans were made back in the days and i wish that they would make them that way these days but they don't quite come out looking that way so this isn't a size six regular these are old navy brand jeans i paid six dollars for these next pair that i have to show you are these these are new york and company jeans they're vintage once again i paid five dollars for these these are a size eight and i like the wash of these too i really really do and i feel like the bottom is popping okay so these jeans are from the brand riders the wash is definitely different from the other colors that I have. This is more of a dark blue denim jean, and I paid $5.99 for these. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Also, the leg looks pretty like short, so I feel like it'll fit me nicely. Like, look, it doesn't even look that long, so I think that these will be great on. Hopefully, I'm right. Next couple of jeans that I have to show you are actually black denim. So these first ones here are by The Gap. Once again, small snatch waist room in the hips i love them they are super faded i feel like they've been worn before which i don't even mind because i'll just wash them and wear them no big deal but i really 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 like the wash of these i feel like it really does have that modern but still vintage look if that makes sense and i also love the fact that the quality seems so good like i love the quality of old denim and just i just feel like they really put the effort and the time into creating like things that will actually last next pair that i have to show you are again um size eight i got these for 9.99 this is the from the brand style and co and i'm in love with these also they have like an ashy stone washed black denim look to them very worn in once again and i don't mind it at all and finally the last pair of jeans that i have to show you are these here these are from the brand Genealogy Collection. I've never heard of this brand before. I paid $6 for these. They look brand spanking new. And these are true black denim. They don't look like they've been washed out, which I think is cool. Also because I want a pair of jeans that look kind of like straight black denim. Like every other pair that I have are like super, super skinny. And they're from Urban Outfitters, so they fit like every part of me, like cigarette legs or whatever. I was looking for something that had more of like a wide bottom so that I could cut it and I could let it be distressed after putting it in the washing machine, in the dryer. And I really like this because I feel like when I cut it, the strings are going to actually be jet black as well, which I think is cool because I know there's a lot of denim out there that is like black and white thread if that makes sense so when you cut it you see the black and the white and it kind of gives off a gray look but these i know are going to be straight black and i feel like when i wash it it's still going to stay super super black so i am so excited about all the things that i have purchased 
So those are all the items that I picked up while thrifting. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did enjoy this video, you can let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Also comment and let me know if you'd like to see a video from me like on how I style those jeans and how I DIY and cut them, distress them, whatever. Also you can comment and let me know if you guys have a channel that you want me to check out. I'm so open to finding new channels to subscribe to. As I always say, I really want to know what type of videos you guys are posting and you know, sub for sub. You know, because teamwork makes the dream work and I feel like supporting the Weedy Beedy channels, they matter too, you know? If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. And I'm sending so much love your way. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! That ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her.